everyone, it's Desiree. We are back with packet five. So in this video, we're gonna do five and six. So this, we're just getting, we are at the halfway point and we're gonna cross over the halfway point. Again, just doing the bases, hanging on to all the ephemera, putting on though the ephemera that I know I want to go there and being completely inspired um, by some of the the ways that Anna did hers and, and seeing, okay, yes, I, I get that. Yeah, I want that there um, and so forth. So <clears throat> let's get started. We have our base here and there is a pocket that will sit down towards the bottom and we center that into the bottom. And we're just going to glue the three sides. My brain is actually defogging, you know, remembering what needs glue, what doesn't. <laughs> and just a reminder, you can completely print this out on copy paper. Doesn't have to be anything special. I chose to print mine on a heavier weight <coughs> excuse me, copier paper. It's a, it's a text uh, copy paper and it's about 65 pounds. Again, though, it's, you know, it's not, you know, too substantial, but it's giving it some bulk. So part of this kit, and there's a lot in this one in day five, are these long strips with the tab that we have. And what we're gonna do first though, is glue two of the sides together. Again, I've taken care of my inking and we're just gonna fold that over. And I even remember to ink on the inside. So that that doesn't show. And I think I'm just gonna trim that just a scan. There we go. And there we go. I wanna make sure that the flap is free. So again, that thicker paper causes that and that's okay. I will just continue to trim so that I'm just on the other side of that score line so that when it flips over like it's supposed to it will flip freely and now that will do that so let's re-glue because of course I don't check that before silly me and we're going to close that now Hearing a lot of banging, I apologize. There we go, and that is completely free. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side there. This time we will check first. I'm just gonna do that a skosh. and then fold it. So see how that buckles just a little bit? Again, we don't want that to buckle. We want it to, when that folds, it's going to continue to lay flat. And that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna pull this in and just ink that side as well. Same thing though. Just going down the side, the two sides, because the one side's folded, we don't have to worry about it. And close that up and line that up. All right, these are going to, now I know she put, Anna put hers on this side. So when they're sitting here, they're going this way. 
but then there's a pull out that comes that way. I'm thinking here. Um, all right, we're still going to put them on that side because the way that the tabs are set. So let's do that. Let's get these in place. And again, just leaving a smidge. And I just shifted it. Just leaving a little bit of a spot making sure that it's straight, pressing down, and then we're going to set the other one. We're going to pop that underneath. Again, leaving that small space, folding it over, making sure it's straight. And then holding that down. Okay, so now we have pockets that are flips, which I think is really cool. It's kind of awesome. What is part of this kit, and I think it's really cool, I have it set up, I just haven't put it together yet, is there's an accordion. Um, and I definitely want to put that together, but I need to look at where I'm going to put this because again, I've got these flips going this way and I don't know if I want the pull out to come this way or do I want it to come this way. Um, Either way is is fine. So I'm going to hold, uh, I'm going to put that together, but we're just going to look at that. There is some decorating that I do want to do because I think that the pieces that she created are specific. So I'm going to grab these. There's two of those. And then I already have my numbers set up and I backed them just a little bit just to make them a little thicker. And I want to put them in the center. And I am just going to put glue down the center here. And the same thing with this one. So my line is just about, you know, a quarter of an inch thick and I'm lining it up with the um, center of the opening for the pocket. And now I'm going to put the medallions down in the center. I put the one on the top and we're going to put the two down below. Now I put the, the glue just down the center because we could make those tucks if we wanted to. So we have an option there. I'm going to open these up and we have a couple of these. I think she had put these in there and I think these are great because you're adding a direct journaling spot on the pocket and then I think those are the last items 
that I'm going to put in this piece and we're going to get that set into our journal. Could have even made these pockets if you wanted to. got some flips that are really nice flips now she also has this really big uh, fold up so I fold it in half and you can fold it again which is great because we can tuck that somewhere um, some other fold out more cards journaling cards that are in here words tag some ephemera and again we're going to push that into our pot and let's get this together real quick because I know this is something that I want I already have it lined up so it's going to create this accordion and I'm just going to get this together and then I can ink it off camera because you know, watching somebody ink something, even gluing something is, you know, like watching a pot boil. Just saying. Just, just saying. All right, we're going to line that up. And then, let's see, do I have to trim? I'm going to trim that. we go and now we're going to put the next one on there and we're going to line these up Actually created a book <laughs> that's okay I think the book is cute so my brain is not completely clear but my writing is okay, okay I'm gonna get this on we're going to wiggle that until that sets. And we'll push down. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so instead of an accordion, we created a book. And I like it. I think that is just absolutely adorable. Yes. So again I do want this to pull out I think that would be absolutely adorable um, as it pulls out in and out so let's look at our book let's pull those pages in And again, I wouldn't be able to pull it that way. And it's just something to take into consideration as you're looking. So one, two, and three are full. Now this here, and you can see, you know, even as these are laying here, you know, we've already got some bulk sitting there. I think we're going to be okay if we put it here at five. We'll still be able to flip those and then we'll be able to have the pullout. So five 
it is. I considered the back page, um, the inside back cover, but I think there would be um, too much of the pages bulking up. But I think I kind of like it as being five or on page five because this is the center of, of the book. So now we have five set in. So, all right, we're going to close that back up. Set that aside. And we are going to move on to digital six or packet six, whatever you want to call it. Number six, coming up. And here we are with packet six, day six. Okay. So very simple base. This is our backer. And then we have these two. These are going to be flips that are going to be completely closed. Now, what I want to do, because I think I want this to go in the inside front cover. So I definitely want this piece to sit on that side. Now, I am going to only do these two sides and I'm going to bring up the closing line. So now I'm turning that into a pocket. Definitely want that to be a pocket. Now I'm going to flip that down ink on the inside and then ink along the side as well all right so now we have our opening up here I knew I had glue on that. Silly, silly. So this is going to sit here. And again, we want to make sure that when we put this in, we're not completely severing the fold. And I'm going to put that in the center. Close it over. And press down. No opening still at the top. And now we're going to open this. So now this is going to work the same way. Now I'm going to completely close this one up. And I'm going to do something a little different on this one. And I do trim a little bit from up here so that flap can move freely like before all right so let's do our inking okay i'm going to put this on the bottom So this is going to open like this, and then this is going to open down. 
you can make it up you can have it be a, a flip from the top where this will flip up this way um i just like having the ability to have something come down as well so this one's going to come down and we're going to center that and when I say center, we're going to eyeball it. Get that line and fold that up to make sure. Press down. There we go. So now we have that in place. Now we have these extra pieces. And I want to look at these. I really like that one. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring in my score board and I'm going to come in and I'm going to score this at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to bring in my small scissors because if I use my large ones, it'll be absolutely entertaining. And I'm going to cut just corners out. And we're going to fold. Okay. I'm going to ink the inside of this one. And now we're going to ink the outside. Okay. Now this one is going to sit up here. All right, so we're going to get that glued in place. And we're going to center that. And we're actually centering it over those beautiful wreaths up there. And we're going to close this down. Press it. that so that we have this this and then this so we've created all of these flips so we have the main one going down we have another one going up and then it'll just keep flipping as we go now for this one we do want to get some pockets in here so let me make sure I'm in camera here And I think I think I'm going to put that one there. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put this one here. And that writing needs to sit a certain way I'm sorry I'm making that noise I usually make people nuts with that noise all right so we're gonna make this a double pocket with this oblong shape which is okay and then this is going to be a tall pocket and you'll see what we do there okay so for this one 
I'm going to put glue along the bottom and along this side and get that set. I'm going to let it be framed just a little bit and then I'm going to put this one even with it and do the same thing. So the bottom and then along the side. So we have the pocket, but if we wanted to, we could tuck something there. Now this is too tall, so if I take something that's not tall, <laughs> here we got this. You know, if I put something, but I want to show you something tall here, so let's, how about this, will this work? There we go. So something like that, it'll still close up. Now we can even do it that way. Um, it's a little off though, because I was centering it on the image there. Um, but that's okay. So it'll still close, but you have the difference in the pocket, or you can just keep putting things behind those two. So you've got um, an, an option when it comes to your pocket. So we have that, and that's going to be ready to decorate. We're going to decorate this up here at a later point. And then I do want to put this in I want to have that tall pocket and then I'm going to put that there as well for a pocket. Again, putting it close to the outer edge so that it'll fold over. And then I think I want that to be a tuck. Or let me look at some of my previous ones. Perfect. And we're going to put that right there. And that's going to be our second pocket. And we're going to put that right there. So just slightly different. So we have this nice tall pocket here. And don't forget, we have our pocket here as well, where we're stopping it there. And I'll show you what that looks like. But we have this and we can do something here as well. But I'm going to keep that open because I don't know if I want a, a pocket there yet. But we have this and then we have this. And then we have this. So great spot for a photo and journaling. All right, so this is, I'm gonna put this tag on there. This is our day six. Again, we're gonna put all of our ephemera aside and we're going to have a ball decorating all at once. Let me move my trash bits off to the side here. And I really want this to sit right here. 
I think it's a great contrast with this and then I have that on the inside so even if I flip this out and I put this tag in here and again we made it shorter so it's going to stop there you can see that when this is closed it's just going to come out the top of the book which I think is great we can put an eyelet here have a charm coming off of this um, and everything else but I think this will sit really nicely right there and I am just going to get it clipped so that I do not forget here we go close that up so so far we have six sets in our book so we'll see these two and then we will see these two I think they have a nice contrast and then we just need one for here and we've got one sitting there I really love that one and then we've got this beauty here um, with all of the beautiful folds and, and those gate doors and then we have these spots still open back here now I may decide to take this and put this at the end um, but I kind of like that there or I may sit that in the center again constant change that's why nothing gets glued in that's why we have way too much fun with clips and post-its to make sure that we're placing them where we want as we continue to build all right so that was five and six up next of course are seven and eight again hope you're enjoying this um, I'm having a ball I know we've got so much ephemera I cannot wait to get this all sorted down and then just really start decorating and just having a lot of fun uh, with this I'm really enjoying it and again I hope you are too if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up make sure you ring the bell um, because then you'll know when the next ones are coming out um, and when they're ready for you to watch enjoy the process have fun with what you're creating and everything that you are creating but most of all always be creative and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.